Well, I, I think we have a great opportunity as coaches to uh, not only uh, teach and coach the players that are right here in front of us right now, um, I think we have an opportunity to be teachers and, and, and set an example for other coaches. Um, you know, everything that you do, people are paying attention to it. Um, so if other coaches want to come watch us practice like we had this week, I'm more than happy to invite them to practice and let them watch. If they have questions, I'm more than happy to answer their questions. I think that uh, that's part of our obligation to help the game grow. Uh, I think if a gentleman comes from halfway across the country because he's always wanted to watch our practice um, and I introduce him to our players and allow him to be a part of practice for that little bit and get his picture taken, I think we're teaching our players how to be uh, inclusive and how to share. Uh, so everything that we do ultimately um, has some value. Uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's uh, to show them what not to do, and sometimes it's to explain to them, you know, um, this is who I am, this is what I do, and this is how I do it. That doesn't mean you have to do it like that. That doesn't mean you have to believe in it, but this is how I do it, and this is how I'm going to continue to do it. We've talked about this the last uh, five days of practice. The most important thing that a coach can do is, is find out what, what level of competitiveness do, do, do his players or her players have. If a player is competitive, then you can get that player to do things that will help them get better and help your team win games. If a player is not competitive and they don't know how to compete and you're trying to teach them how to compete and it's not getting in, then they're a non-competitive kid and that kid's gonna have a hard time getting better and your team is gonna have a hard time getting better. So, you know, you put kids in a competitive environment and you hope that they learn how to be competitors. Cause that's not just in, uh, in basketball, that's competing in the classroom, that's competing when they graduate in the business world, that's competing in life. And I think a lot of times as I go around this country, we've lost that competitive spirit. Everybody gets rewarded just for being there. Everybody gets a medal for showing up, okay? And you know what? At Connecticut, you don't get any medals for showing up and you don't get rewarded for just being here. Uh, you know, kids didn't become all Americans here. Banners didn't go up in this building just by showing up and um, saying, hey coach, uh, I wanna give it a shot. No, that's, that's, that's not what we're all about. Coaches should probably know that uh, whatever you think works for you, that's what you should be doing. Uh, whatever's worked for you in the past, and you can figure out a way to tweak that a little bit and uh, make it a little bit better, uh, that's what you should do. Uh, if you've been doing this for 10 years and you haven't had a lot of success, then you need to change what you're doing and figure out um, what it is that you would like to do and how you would like to do it. Study more, go talk to more coaches, go see more practices, you know, uh, this is a learning uh, uh, art. It's, it's, it's not a science. It, it, this is something you have to stay on top of every, every day, every week, every month, every year if you want to get better at it. Uh, and even the best coaches are constantly looking to get better. Uh, that's how players become superstars. They're great, but they're never satisfied. And they're always trying to get better. So if you're a coach and you've had great success, God bless you and keep doing what you're doing. If you're struggling and you're trying to find it, then hopefully this helps you a little bit. If not, then get out there and go see more coaches, study the game more, and then see where that takes you. I, I would hope that over the last five practices, uh, you've been able to see what the structure of our practice looks like, uh, what we emphasize, the things that we think are most important in trying to build our team. Uh, everybody's got a different way of doing it. Uh, this way seems to work for us. We're trying to build a certain confidence level in our offense. Uh, we're trying to make our players comfortable with the basketball in their hands because I feel like that's where everything breaks down when players are not sure what to do with the ball when they catch it. Um, we feel like over the last five days, um, we've made them comfortable. Uh, I hope as you watch uh, the progression of some things that we do, half court, full court, individual stuff, um, that it's something that might help you. Um, I know you don't have a lot of time as a high school coach if you're watching this, um, and in a short period of time, trying to get as many things done as you can. 
Uh, I think we've tried to do that, and hopefully uh, this is something that will help you this year and in years to come. So I appreciate you taking a look at this, and if there's ever anything we can do, drop us a line.